Yo, what is good, boys? It's Ben Levy from Shreds University. And you already know we got another banger today. Today's video, I'm going to be taking a workout from TikTok. Some random creator. And we're going to try it out. Are you serious right now, bro? Give you guys my opinions on it and all that fun stuff. So let's get to the gym. I'll see you guys there. Before we even get into the gym, let me show you guys the workout we're gonna be doing today. This creator, her name is Sivan TM. That's her username on TikTok. Go check her out, obviously, all that fun stuff. But basically a leg day, and I noticed that in her leg day, it is very, very high rep. I'm not used to this. I'm more of a eight to 12 type of guy, maybe even lower sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. I'll usually start off also with heavy squats. I, I like to start off with squats because that's like my main goal is just get my numbers up on squat. And I've been doing really good. We're on 315 for like uh, four by six, something like that right now. So pretty good on squat. But anyways, besides that, a very different approach to today's workout. I'm gonna try it out. We'll see how it is. I like to go high intensity. I like to push myself to failures. I think it's gonna be a little tricky with such high reps, but we'll figure it out and we'll see how it goes. And I'll let you guys know my thoughts on this workout. So let's get right into the gym. Looks like first off, we got flying hamstring curls. Uh, definitely one of my favorite hamstring movements. So. Let's go onto that machine. I don't know what was up with the brightness in the first clip, but another thing that's gonna suck is I don't have AirPods because I'm taking videos, so I can't listen to music while I work out. Ah, motherfucker. Three times 24, so three sets, 24 reps. It's gonna be tough, but let's get into it. It wasn't as bad as I thought, but I was going a little bit light because it was just like a warm-up set. Go a little heavier next one, see how it feels. First set wasn't too bad, but it was more of a warm-up anyway, so yeah. Second set went heavier. It was definitely harder. I had to actually go down the weight. I like the 20th rep. It was too much. I was able to finish it, but that one burned, not gonna lie. One thing I noticed about the high reps is like in the beginning, the intensity feels pretty low. And then obviously as you go, it gets harder, but it feels like the beginning ones are not pointless, but like you're doing too much, you know, when you could just be going heavier and then feel that intensity from the start. But uh, you know, it's good. Our rate's getting higher. I'm enjoying it so far, it's not bad. So I didn't film the last set actually on hamstrings, but that one was the hardest set by far. Um, I was still able to get 24 obviously, but I have to go down weight again and it burned a lot. So my hamstrings are pumped right now to burn a lot. Now next up we have inclined leg press, I guess. What she means by incline is putting the seat up. So I'm gonna adjust that in one second. And this one's a little bit more normal also with the rep ranges. It's three times 12, a little bit better than, you know, 24 reps, but yeah, we'll try it out now. I've actually never tried, I don't think I've ever tried the leg press with such a high incline, as you can see right there. And also I don't go too heavy usually on leg press cause I usually heavy squat before. So we'll just try it out, see how it feels. But yeah, I'm gonna start my first set. We'll see how it feels. This is a warm up also. harder to get more like range like it feels like i'm stuck maybe because i don't stretch enough or something also i feel my hamstrings more i don't know if that's because we just did hamstrings or because i found my legs are placed usually i'm like more quad focused when i do like press but because i think i have them higher up or it feels like i am because it's so high inclined i feel my hamstrings more so definitely different than before it did feel really light though so we'll up the weight and uh we'll go from there <laughs> Second set done. 
doesn't feel too bad. I do feel my lower back a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe because of the angle. I felt my lower back before, usually if I'm going heavy on squat, but it's starting to go a little bit because I've been stretching more, but still feel a little bit on this. I think when I got when I went a little heavier. Overall, not too bad though. It feels pretty good. Still feels like not enough range of motion, but that might just be my head. It still feels like a good stretch. I'm still like obviously feeling the muscle. Might add a plate on it, and then we'll go for our last set. press is done i enjoyed it. it wasn't bad 12 reps so that's like you know good rep range and i don't like going too heavy anyways on uh leg press in general so it felt pretty good thumbs up on both hamstring curl and that and now we got leg extension which is definitely one of my favorite leg exercises we're going to be doing three sets of 20 reps so really repping it out and um when she does it or in the video she shows that she holds it so she locks it out holds it I'm gonna attempt to go like that. Usually I kind of swing it, I'm not gonna lie. I have been holding it a little bit more, but I don't go 20 reps, so we'll see how it feels. Um, but yeah, three times 20 on leg extension. So far though, all the exercises are great, so thumbs up on the workout. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the first set was absolutely brutal. The first 15, I tried doing, you know, with like keeping my leg locked at the end, like holding it. I just like barely got the last five after. I might go down weight. I'm only doing like 130 pounds, but it still feels, it feels tough. 20 reps, definitely tough, but it's not bad. I actually, at first I wasn't sure if I liked the high reps, but on this type of stuff, it's not too bad. On the hamstring curl one, it felt easier. On this one, it feels harder maybe because I'm holding it. I'm going a little slower, more controlled. But yeah, definitely gonna go down in the weight and try to get the 20 clean, but I still wanna like reach failures. We'll see, we'll see. That's the thing with high reps, it's hard to like figure out, you know, what the weight will be and all that, but uh, let's continue. <laughs> I went much lighter on the second set and it was even harder. It was really, really hard. I tried my best to do the whole thing, but I wasn't gonna be able to finish it if I did, if I like kept holding like that. So I guess we're going more down and wait one more set. But you guys get it, it's hard. I'm not even gonna film this last, but I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do it. You guys get the point though. But yeah, pushing myself for sure. Holy shoot, that hurt so bad. Burned like crazy, but we're done with leg extension. My legs feel so pumped. Like it feels like my muscles are like squishing my bone. We're doing hip abductors. I don't think I've ever like done this. Like actually, I probably just like joked around on it, but I never really did it. I recently started doing the hip, uh, the other one, whatever, the one that you go out. I recently started doing that because it helps with like back pain a little bit and it helped with my uh, hip flexors. So that helped for my squat. Yeah, I guess we'll try this one out. I just saw it said 30 reps, so holy, but yeah, let's start. I'm not gonna get mad and shit. This. Weirdest machine ever felt in my life. It, it wasn't too hard, but it, it definitely burned a little bit at the end. But yeah, I'm not even gonna film these last two. We're gonna do two more sets and then move on to the, the next exercise. Finished up with watermelon crushers, whatever it's called. Pretty sure it's more of like a girl thing, I think, because I don't see a lot of guys doing that. So I felt a little bit odd doing it, but still committed to the video. 30 reps felt way, way too high, like way too many. Uh, so I wouldn't do 30. Even if I was doing that, I wouldn't do 30. I feel like it's just unnecessarily too many reps. But now we have like, I think it's called goblet squat. Get a plate on the floor and we hold a dumbbell. I rather, I personally rather do like back squats, something like that, or maybe even front squat if you want the weight to be in the front. But we'll try it out, see how it feels, continue from there. It's three sets of 15s. Again, pretty high reps, but much better than 30 reps. So I'm glad of this one. Now 
not sure if I'm loving this one because I feel like I'm not really going heavy enough to really like burn my legs. But at the same time, it's heavy to wear on my arms. I need to just focus on carrying it. It's not too bad. I'm not gonna go any heavier than this, even though I feel like I 100% could, but I feel like it's just gonna make me focus on different things instead of the actual workout. So two more sets and we'll go from there. Second set actually felt better, I'm not gonna lie, but it still felt like like I don't wanna go heavier because it's just gonna mess everything up. So one more set, I'm not gonna film the last one, but we'll get it done. And I think we got one more exercise. Finish that up. So I saw that she finishes up with like Stairmaster, but she doesn't do any calves, right? And I need, I don't know if you guys seen my calves, but I need to do calves. I do calves probably like three times a week, maybe more sometimes. I've been trying to, you know, cause they need to grow. And they're finally starting to grow just a little bit, but she's skipping calves, man. I, I need to do calves, so I'm gonna throw in some calves in there, and then we'll see if I wanna do the 10 minute freaking Dare Master. You guys notice when I was doing calves, I like to go like not heavy, but I like to just rep it out normally, really slow, go all the way down, all the way up. And then on the last ones, I literally just rep it out and it burns so much whenever I do that. And that's what helps me feel my calves the most. So it's it's sort of like a drop set every single set, but I'm not dropping the weight. I'm just like doing clean, clean reps, like really stretching it. And then the last ones, I'm literally just going as fast as I can, kind of, and then it just burns like crazy. So I'm gonna do that for like four sets. You see it more from the back view, but I definitely see a difference. So I'm gonna have to fix that. Do a little more single-legged calf race. <laughs> We're out. We're done. I'm not gonna lie, I did skip the cardio part, but that's because I'm running a little late to something, and I'm not supposed to be doing it anyways because I have like a holiday tomorrow where I can't eat or drink or anything, so that's my excuse, all right? But anyways, so what were my thoughts on the workout? First of all, I wanna start off with wasn't bad at all. I actually enjoyed it. It was pretty good for the most part. Shout out to Sivan. I think that's how I pronounce your name. If I don't, I'm sorry, but I did enjoy the workout. It wasn't bad at all. The beginning was better, and then towards the end, it got a little bit not as good. I enjoyed the beginning part more, where the, with like the hamstring curl, that was great. Uh, leg extension was great. I literally it burned so bad. Leg press was actually not too bad. I'm not sure if I like the leaning back more or leaning forward more. We did like the incline today. I think I might like the laying down more because I feel like I have more range of motion and I can and I feel like I can focus on my quads more. But it obviously depends on what you're trying to focus on because I feel like maybe that's more for your glutes. I think hip abductor one. I wasn't a fan. <laughs> I wasn't a fan. But uh, it was also really really high rep, so I didn't enjoy it too much. It was it was like it just felt too much to where it was hard for me to feel it. it kind of just felt like I just went through the motion and then only like maybe the last couple reps I really like kind of felt it but that might just be me not knowing how to do really high reps I just I personally like the lower reps a little bit more not like crazy low but you know I'm not, like even 12 that was fine 12 was all right the goblet squat thing uh, I'm gonna be honest I didn't enjoy it that much I way rather do uh, back squats on a plate than just because the whole situation with holding the weight and I just, it didn't feel heavy enough but it was too heavy for like my arms it wasn't too heavy for my arms but it just wasn't like fun like it didn't feel like optimal you know what i mean i felt like i was doing too much and it could have been much better if i just had that on my back or something like that overall all together it wasn't bad i think it's great though for probably for girls uh especially if you're not as strong then on the goblet squat it's probably much better because you don't have to go heavy weight you literally could just squat and it'll, it'll be good for you so definitely towards like a girl's workout i'm not gonna lie but uh, some girls have intense leg days, so I wanted to give it a shot and I'm not gonna lie It didn't disappoint me. It was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. It wasn't too bad Obviously not everything was for me, but that's completely fine if I had to rate the workout 
on the girl scale for like maybe for uh, girls or something like that it's probably like a nine out of ten but for me personally I'd probably give it like a six or something like that, or maybe a five or a six, because I feel like there could have been different things that were optimal. First half was definitely like an eight, nine though, not gonna lie. Then the second half wasn't as enjoyable for me, but overall not too bad. Forgot to film the proper outro for this video, so here I am making the outro. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below what you guys thought about the video and if you guys want to see any different type of videos from this channel or maybe a different content creator you guys want me to try one of their workouts, YouTube, TikTok, doesn't matter. It was a fun video to make for sure. I'm going to have weekly videos I post every single Thursday, so make sure to stay tuned. And uh, if you guys are looking for a workout program specifically made for teens, trying to put on muscle, basically everything I've learned over the years and uh, some people have made some crazy gains with my program. So if you guys are willing to try it out, Click the link down below in my description, and um, I promise you won't regret it. So, Shreds University, go check that out. But, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you boys next time. Peace out. Goodbye.